Hi everyone and welcome to week six of the Brain Changer Art Project Online. I hope that you all had lots of fun playing the frog game last week and I'm sure that you're all experts at getting the fly in the frog's mouth now. Please do keep sending us any pictures or videos of yourselves getting creative or playing the game as we love to see how you're getting on at home. As we enjoyed making a game so much last week, we thought we'd do another one. This week, we're going to make a card spinner. To do this, you need to draw a circle onto a piece of card and then cut it out. You're then going to be working on all the skills that we've been practicing so far, such as using your tripod grip to hold your pencil, using your two hands together as you draw around a circle, using your two hands together to cut the circle out. Then we're going to thread the piece of string through the card and tie a knot in it. This will work on our hand-eye coordination. And finally, we will spin the circle and pull the strings. Emily will show you some lovely ways to make the circle very creative so it'll make lovely patterns as it spins. This is another cool activity as it will help you work on your muscle strength as you pull the strings and your coordination as your two hands work together. We've practiced drawing circles when we made our animal masks and I mentioned to you that it helps you work on crossing midline. This week I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what that means and why it's such an important skill. Imagine that you have a line drawn from the top of your head down to your feet, which separates the right and left sides of our body. Well, our brains are actually split into two halves. The right side of our brain controls the left side of our body and the left side of our brain controls the right side of our body. To allow us to use both of our hands in a coordinated way, we need both sides of our brain and both sides of our body to work together. If people can't cross that imaginary line, it will cause difficulty with lots of things such as reading, writing, dressing, playing sports and all the different things we do throughout the day. Drawing round a circle is a great way to get you to cross from one side of your body over to the other side. If you have difficulty crossing the midline, then you might find that you swap hands when you do things. So you do half with one hand and half with the other. This week, we're going to do three challenges that are focused on the skills we've developed so far. First of all, I'd like you to draw around a circle. I'd like you to hold your pen using the tripod grip if you can. Next, I want you to focus on going all the way around the circle as smoothly as you can, crossing the imaginary line that we've just spoken about. And finally, I want you to cut out the circle. Again, focus on cutting away from you, going smoothly around the line and trying to cross over the imaginary line as you go around that circle. Playing the game will be really exciting for you and it'll be even better because Emily will help you to be really creative and make the spinner look really effective as it goes round and round. Good luck and have fun. Please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any difficulties or want to ask us any questions. Over to Emily. See you next week.